It is nice to finally get a break where the sun's out and it's warm. It, it's a beautiful day outside right now. 77 degrees and we're going to be up into the 80s again this afternoon. Yesterday we hit 81. We also had the clouds and the rain yesterday, so today 77. It is a little breezy this afternoon, but the winds out of the southwest, so it's still comfortable with wind gusts right now. 24 miles per hour, so some gusty winds now, but the sun's going to be out the rest of the day and uh, dry weather across Michigan. You see a few showers developing around Illinois, Wisconsin and eastern Iowa, and all these are, are moving to the east. And so this energy in the atmosphere is going to be moving across Lake Michigan and eventually across western Michigan. There may be some stronger thunderstorms by this evening, and eventually we get a chance of some showers later tonight. More on that in just a minute, but afternoon highs 84 in Troy, 85 in Ferndale and Livonia. It is a warm Warm afternoon. That's pretty close to the average for the end of June. And again, breezy, but dry weather the rest of the day today. So dry for the ball game tonight. And first pitch is 710. We'll be in the upper 70s by then. Breezy, but warm. And then later tonight, a shower is possible. Chances go up as you get closer to midnight, 10, 11 o'clock midnight. Could be a few showers overnight, possibly a thunderstorm. Lows around 66 tonight. So in the future cast, 7 p.m., some thunderstorms possible around uh, Kalamazoo and Grand Rapids. And the latest computer model doesn't really have that developing as much as some of the other computer models were showing earlier this morning. So what that means is either way, we could have a few isolated showers later on tonight. It looked like all these storms moving across the southern part of the state were weakening as it moved east anyway. So this doesn't show much. This is at 3 o'clock in the morning, but just know there could be a few pockets of some showers overnight. A lot of this will be ending, if not all of it ending, before the sun even comes up tomorrow. Tomorrow overall is a dry day. And then the next few days, several disturbances will be moving in from the west to the east. A lot of them moving just to the south of us. This is one of them tomorrow night into Thursday morning. So if this shifts a little farther north, then we're talking rain Wednesday night into Thursday morning. But right now it looks like it'll stay south of us. And then another one moves in Thursday late in the day, and there could be some pop up showers or a few thunderstorms Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. Temperatures on the way up by this weekend, Friday and Saturday, close to 90 degrees, potentially could be our first 90 degree day of the year, um, but a little more humid too, with a 30% chance of rain. There could be some pop up showers and storms Friday and Saturday. Sunday does look dry and less humid and a little cooler too, with highs down to about 83 degrees. So we're going to be heating up this week and we get the chance of showers and a few thunderstorms Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And uh, temperatures, though, in the 80s all the way through the weekend, even though it does get a little cooler Sunday. Again, the humidity also building a bit Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Each day gets a little bit higher, but it should be pretty comfortable to start out next week. Monday, by the way, the first day of July and we'll have high temperatures right around 82 degrees by then. So feeling more like summer this week. Anne-Marie, back to you. <laughs>